You're coming along with me on this ferry at Pasir Panjang Ferry Terminal to Semakau Landfill, about 8 kilometers south of Singapore. So a little background, we had another landfill at Lorong Halus and that was completely maxed out in 1999. Then an idea came to turn the sea space between Pulau Saking and Pulau Semakau into an offshore landfill. In 2024, only 25 years since the landfill began, it is now more than half full. Ever wanted to know how this landfill takes in all that waste from 6 million people? Let's uh, find out. That's the target barge hauling in incineration ashes and not incinerable waste. The waste loaded barge docks at the enclosed wharf in the transfer building. Excavators unload the ashes onto dump trucks, which then head to the assigned spot to dump and landfill the ashes. When the ashes are dumped into the landfill, the displaced water gets treated at the floating wastewater treatment plant before discharging into the sea. You can see the thingy over here. It is the built-in geomembrane that surrounds the landfill to ensure no contamination of the surrounding seawater takes place. Now this is a 10 meter wide paved roadway. It is the perimeter bun of the landfill. It provides the necessary access for all the landfill equipment, allowing a safe and efficient operation. Honestly, if no one told me that this is Samako landfill, I think it's some island holiday spot. Real talk, this 350 hectare landfill is projected to reach its full capacity by 2035. We really must reconsider how our day-to-day -day activities and habits impact the way this landfill gets filled and what other actions that we can take to reduce waste. Okay, a fit check and that's all from Samakau. Um, bye!